Chance Worthy, and we're giving grown-ups the chance to win $1 million if they can prove that they are smarter than a fifth grader. And this is my class, Cody! your new classmates. Yeah! He's a 21-year-old college student from Let's UCSD. Go. Yeah. Yeah. He attended Wagonville Elementary. Welcome, Tyler Van Buren. Let's go. What's up? How you doing? What's up, big man? How you doing? Woo! Woo! How you doing? Tyler, welcome to the show. Nice to be doing great, you? Awesome. And I'm guessing this is a picture of you when you were in the fifth grade at Wagon Wheel Elementary, huh? Wow. Did anybody beat you up for wearing that shirt? Uh, no, fortunately. They should have. <laughs> All right, what are you majoring in, Tyler? Biochemistry. Biochemistry. Yeah! Woo! So you are in a fraternity? Absolutely, a Pi Kappa fraternity. Pike, you are a Pike. I'm a Pike. Yeah. So let me ask you this, because a long time ago, I went to college. What kind of reputations do Pikes have? Uh, one could say we are uh, like uh, meatheads. Like meatheads. Yeah. yeah. We like to work out. A bunch of meatheads that like to work out. Let's change the meathead reputation today, OK? Absolutely. We have not given away a million dollars yet. <laughs> and you are here on a very special night. This is a special edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Because not only do you have this outstanding class of fifth graders to cheat off of, we have a visiting class tonight. You have twice as many people to cheat off of. Do you have any idea who that might be? More kids. Not more kids, more meatheads. It's your fraternity brothers. They are here tonight to help you out on the show. Welcome to the show, guys. Wow. Wasn't expecting that one. You wasn't expecting that one. Let's meet wow. the frat guys. There's Russ. You get to pick fifth graders or frat guys, but only one of them at a time can help you from the podium, all right? Okay. They, you can cheat off of any of them, but only one at a time. Okay. So pick one of them, and let's get started. Let's start with Nathan. Nathan, come up here, Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. Are you gonna be a frat guy when you grow up? No. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, let me tell you how the game works, Tyler. On the board, you're gonna see 10 questions. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. You can pick them in any order you like. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. The 10th question, should you answer it correctly, is worth $500,000. Ace this test, we're gonna give you one more question, and it is gonna be worth $1 million. Yet. I want tonight to be the night, okay? Uh, I, I'm, I'm with you, absolutely. Now, I know you take a lot of tests in college. This one's a little different because you can drop out of this school and take the money that you have acquired and run. One little wrinkle. You have to look into that camera before you leave and you have to tell the world I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Oh. Okay. We have a deal. We have a deal. We have a deal. Let's find out, is Tyler Van Buren smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah! Get up! Yeah, baby! All right, Tyler, 10 subjects. Which one would you like first? How do you feel, Nathan? What's your favorite subject? Uh, math and measurements. 
I'm liking first grade measurements too. Let's go with first, first grade, grade measurements. measurements. All right, for $1,000, here is the first grade measurements question. If you're standing on the equator, in what basic compass direction would you look in order to watch the sunrise? If you are standing on the equator, in what basic compass direction would you look in order to watch the sun rise? Nathan has locked in his answer. All right, well, being an Eagle Scout, I know that uh, the sun rises in east or west. And I imagine being in a fraternity, you've probably seen the sun come up a time or two, haven't you? <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Uh, I think I'll have to go ahead and say the sun rises in the east. Yeah! Woo! Let's go. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. You just said to the 10-year-old boy standing next to you. You're not feeling confident. Uh... Biochemistry major. <laughs> First grade. Let's see what your buddy Nick said. Nick said, if you're standing on the equator, in what basic compass direction would you look in order to watch the sunrise? Nick said, north. How you feeling now? I know it's standing on the equator. I don't think it's north. It's not. Nick, what are you majoring in? Political science, public policy. So you should be fine as long as no one is asking you directions to the White House. <laughs> Let's see if he can save you. You said east. Nathan said east. He can't save you. He doesn't have to. You're right. You got a thousand dollars. Good job. Awesome. All right, Tyler, we got a thousand bucks. Take a deep breath. Nine subjects remaining. Which one would you like? All right, let's go with first grade animal science. First grade animal science. Tyler, for $2,000, here's the animal science question. True or false, a camel's hump is primarily used to hold water. True or false, a camel's hump is primarily used to hold water. Nathan is locked in. Okay, yeah. What you think, Tyler? Uh, camel's hump. I think it has two humps. Uh, hold water. I know that they live in the desert. Very uh, good, Tyler. <laughs> so, holding water might be important. I'm gonna say that a camel's hump is used to hold water is true. What do your parents do for a living? Aeronautical engineers. <laughs> They're both aeronautical engineers? Let's see what your fraternity brother Nick said. Well, we already know that he's no good with directions. Let's see if he knows anything about animals. Nick said, true. Of course, last time, Nick said the sun came up in the north. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what the other four said. But he said true. They said true, a camel's hump is primarily used for water. Every single one of you is wrong. It primarily holds fat. Tyler, <laughs> I really didn't think we'd be doing this on the first grade question from a biochemistry major.
The only way you stay in the game is if Nathan said false. Nathan said false. You got $2,000. Oh, my gosh. You're amazing. Thank you. Oh, wow. Way to go, buddy. Very good. Who would have known they live in the desert? All right, Tyler, you've got $2,000. It's time to pick another classmate. All right. You can go with the fifth graders or the fraternity brothers. I'm going to give my brothers a chance. I'm going to have to go with Alan Roof. Alan, come on up here. All right. Eight subjects up there, Alan. Which two are your best? Uh, I'm not very good at any of those ones, but... Uh... <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah. What are you majoring in? I'm poli-sci, so that's like a social studies, so it's also conveniently at the bottom. It's logo. a second grade question, Alan. Yeah. It's your college major. Yeah. So, uh... And yet you don't feel confident about it. Not very. That's, I'm pretty good at multiple choice, though. Multiple choice. That's yeah. not one of the categories. <laughs> uh, what are you majoring in? Multiple choice. <laughs> I was majoring in true false, but I changed my sophomore year. <laughs> All right. <laughs> your, your pick, Tyler. The study is good with social studies. I'm going to go second grade social studies. Second grade social studies. Let's not get ahead of myself. For $5,000. The second grade social studies question is coming up when we come back. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Tyler Van Buren, has got $2,000. He, it is a very special edition of the show tonight, too, because not only do we have our normal class, we have a visiting class who happen to be Tyler's frat brothers. Yeah, baby! You, you selected Alan to help you out on your second set of questions. Together, you picked second grade social studies for $5,000, Tyler. Here's the question. Let's see it. In the patriotic song, America, what four words follow the opening lyrics, My country tis of thee? In the patriotic song, America, what four words follow the opening lyrics, My country tis of thee? Your classmate, Alan, has locked in his answer. Well, not much of a singer. Uh... You don't have to sing it, you just have to know it. In the patriotic song, America, what four words follow the opening lyrics, my country tis of thee? If I remember it right, I think it goes, my country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. You're correct, you're not much of a singer. <laughs> Yeah, I warned you. Uh, my country, tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty. Four words. Uh, my country, tis of thee. Okay. Sweet land of liberty. already used your save. Just for giggles. Let's see if your buddy Alan agrees with you. The patriotic song, America, what four words follow the opening lyrics, my country tis of thee. Alan said, the beautiful O gracias. What? 
Everyday Cinco de Mayo, isn't it, Alan? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see what your buddy Russ said. Your buddy Russ said, my country, tis of thee. Oh, glory, my country. Oh, my God. Wow. You said, sweet land of liberty. I believe I did. All five fifth graders said, sweet land of liberty. You're right. You got $5,000. Yes! $5,000. Let's that up. Let's $5,000 is quite a pocket full. Yes! All right. We are down to seven subjects. The next one's worth $10,000, Tyler. Let's pick one. Uh, third grade grammar. You got third grade uh, grammar. See. Come on, man. Alan, you like any of those subjects up there? Well, social studies is my best subject. Um, You're asking Alan. I would go with uh, second grade U.S. geography. All right, second grade U.S. geography it is, yeah. Second grade U.S. geography. All right, our $10,000 question is, true or false? Thank you, God. <laughs> The state of New Mexico borders the Gulf of Mexico. Gracias. <laughs> True or false, the state of New Mexico borders the Gulf of Mexico. Your classmate Alan locked in his answer. Okay. For what that's worth. <laughs> no, New Mexico is a state. Very good. The Gulf of Mexico. Can you see the map uh, of the United States? Yeah. Pull up my head. It's New Mexico. There's Arizona, either on the right or somewhere touching it. There's Texas, the big one. The big one. And then Mexico. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it carries over where it loops down with Florida. And it comes down with that like, thing, like a finger, like a thumb. Yeah. And then there's water, like a big, I think that's the Gulf of Mexico. And I don't think it touches. By the, the thumb with the thing, right? Yeah. I'm gonna say, state of New Mexico borders the Gulf of Mexico. That statement is false. Yeah, let's go. He can't save you, but he would be a pretty good barometer how to feel about that answer. You said false. Can we see what Alan said? Oh. <laughs> it's not looking good. Oh, come on. Your buddy Alan finally got one right. You got $10,000. Yeah. Oh, my God. $10,000. There's New Mexico, and then if you look at the right side, there's the thumb and the thing and all of that. All right, Tyler, it's time to pick another classmate. You can go with your frat brothers or the fifth graders. I'd have to say Olivia. Olivia, come up here. You plan on going to college one day? Yeah, definitely. When you see guys like this, walk the other way, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. And there may be a chance when you go to college, they'll still be there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, six subjects on the board. Cultural studies. Astronomy, astronomy. Cultural I think we're going to go with third grade math. Third grade math. Let's go. $25,000, baby! Woo! 
The $25,000 question is coming up right after this. Our contestant, Tyler Van Buren, is playing for $25,000. If you win a lot of money, what are you going to do? Well, you know, it's, it's, I'm in college. It's the time of my life. Figure, go to Vegas, just turn 21. Uh, maybe uh, buy a nice car. It says on here, too, you're going to throw a kegger if you win a lot of money. Yeah. We're known to throw keggers. I imagine with $25,000, I just may be able to throw a decent kegger. So, go to Vegas, buy a sweet car, throw a kegger. Let me tell you what's interesting. We dug up a little video on you. Back when you were in the fifth grade, and I think at that point you were asked the question what you would do if you had a lot of money. No way. If I could give my family a gift, I would give them loads of money so they wouldn't have to work. I guess it's I going to my parents. I don't see that on the list anymore. You know what, Tyler, let's do this. Let's win a million dollars, and that way you can go to Vegas, buy a car, throw a kegger, and still give your parents a ton of dough. How that about sounds that? Sounds good. Let's go for it. For $25,000, here's the third grade math question. Oh, it's a classroom club question. What that means, Tyler, is this question was sent in by a third grader, Doc, from Hermosa Valley School. And because we chose Doc's question, are you smarter than a fifth grader, is sending his school a computer lab. How about that? All right. Let's see what Doc sent in for the third grade math question. If 15 35ths equal n over 7, then n must be equal to what number? If 15 35ths equal n over 7, then n must be equal to what number? OK. Olivia has locked in her answer. Uh. 7 times 5 equals 35. 7 times 4 equals 28. So 7 times 5 equals 35. And so then if you divide 35, take 35, divide by 5, then you get 7. So then you have to divide the other number to get it equal to the uh, other fraction. <laughs> and so you take 15 divided by 5. And I believe that's 3. So n would equal 3. So be 15 over 35 equals 3 over 7. I am going to have to say that n equals 3. <laughs> 25. 25k, let's go. Let's take a look at what your frat brother said. They said, three, 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 and sweet three. Okay. You all got it right. You got $25,000. Yeah. We are going to be playing for $50,000 right after this. Congratulations. Welcome back to a very special edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Tyler Van Buren, not only has the regular fifth grade class, he has the visiting class of his fraternity brothers helping him tonight. One time, one time. Bye, guys. Let's go, baby.
Together, we have made it up to the $25,000 level. Right now, we're about to play for $50,000. Halfway through the test, Tyler. Five subjects left. I think I'm gonna go with third grade grammar. Olivia. Third grade grammar. Maybe a third subject. For $50,000, Tyler, here's the question. What word is the adverb in the following sentence? Sierra was so excited to be in Mr. Foxworthy's class because he's a great teacher. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I am. What word is the adverb in the following sentence? Sierra was so excited to be in Mr. Foxworthy's class because he's a great teacher. Olivia has locked in. Wow, that was pretty quick. She said it was one of the subjects that she liked. Okay. Let's see how the brothers are doing. What word is the adverb in the following sentence? Sierra was so excited to be in Mr. Foxworthy's class because he's a great teacher. Wow, it's gonna be some problems. Uh, Let so me remind exciting. you about your cheats. You have a copy, which means you can copy what Olivia wrote down. But you have to go with her answer and you have a peek, which means you can peek at what she wrote down and see if you like it or not. B, I feel, is a verb. And a proverb, I think, is before, like, pronoun. An adverb is before or after. I don't think it's in. I think I want to be safe on this one. I want to try to win $50,000. It's a huge amount of money. I'm going to go ahead and peek on Olivia's paper. Well, there's really no reason to drop out. 25,000 is the worst thing that can happen to you. Olivia said the adverb is. So, Sierra was so excited to be in Mr. Foxworthy's class because he's a great teacher. What word is the adverb? How does that feel? Uh, this is toughy. Basically, it boils down to this. Do you trust your gut on this, or do you trust her? You know, Olivia looks pretty smart, so I used that peak. I'm gonna go have to go ahead with her answer, which was so, right? It was so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Olivia is at the podium, but while you were talking that out, I went over and sat at her desk. <laughs> you want to see what I wrote down? I'd love to see what you wrote down. Take a look at the board, Tyler. Oh my God! My heart is beating really fast right now. Good job, Olivia. Tyler, I am stunned that we have made it this far, but we are down to the last four questions before the million dollar question. We are playing for $100,000 when we come back. of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? We are down to the last four questions before the million dollar question. You have $50,000. Real money, $50,000. It is time to pick your next classmate. Crab <laughs> brothers or fifth graders? 
I'm gonna put some trust back in my brothers. Go with Greg Murphy at the end. Greg, come on up here, Greg. Let's go, Greg. Let's go, we got this, we got this. Teamwork. You haven't even gotten one right yet. You're celebrating, I love you that. $50,000. How you doing, Greg? Right. He just said, we've got $50,000. Yeah. <laughs> they think I'm pretty generous. I think they've got plans for your money, Tyler. All right, four subjects left. All right, go ahead and say uh, fourth grade cultural studies. Fourth grade cultural studies. Let's go. Tyler and Greg, the $100,000 question is, Buddhism is a religion which began in what country? Buddhism is a religion which began in what country? Your classmate Greg has locked in his answer. You look like you just got a little religion. <laughs> Buddhism is a religion which began in what country? Right off the bat, when I think of Buddhism, I also think of Hinduism. They're kind of both in the Far East Asia area. All right, before you block. hit the buzzer, you can uh, drop out of school with $50,000, okay? You have one cheat left. It's the copy. See, I'm pretty confident that it's either India or China. So you feel like you've knocked it down to a 50-50? Yeah. I know Buddhism is big in China and India. I, I believe so. Uh, but when I, I'm, okay, I'm picturing the little Buddha in my head right now. Okay. Little Buddha statue. And uh, what's he saying to you? <laughs> He's smiling, and he's like a big, like, happy, smiley guy with a big belly. And uh, I'd rather answer and be wrong than trust Greg and have him be wrong. That's a fact. So, I'm sorry. You uh, know, Tyler, there is a shot that Greg has the right answer. Okay, uh, yeah, I wanna try to make some money. You know, I have a lot of plans. I am going to have to go with China. Let's see what Greg said. Greg said China. So you guys were thinking alike. Let's see what my fifth grade class said. India, 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 India. So it boils down to the fifth graders versus the frat boys. Oh my gosh. Don't go to Vegas with the 25,000. They're right, you're wrong. India is the right answer. Huge in China, but it began in India. 25,000 is still a lot of money, Tyler. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. You remember the little deal we had? Yes, I do. And a lot of people have walked down this road before you. There's the camera. My name is Tyler Van Buren. I may be a smart frat boy, but I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll be right back. Congratulations. Smarter than a fifth grader. All right, guys, you ready to meet our new classmate? She is a 23-year-old bank teller who attended McNair Elementary. Welcome, Ashley McCone. I'm guessing that was Ashley when we attended McNair Elementary? Yes, that was me, yes. Now, what yes. kind of student were you? I was a great student. I was in the honor roll, perfect attendance. 
GATE program, which is Gifted and Talented Education, so I was a really good student. All right. Well, welcome back to elementary school. You have some new classmates tonight. They're gonna be taking the same test that you're taking, but pick one of them and let's get started. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with Cody! Cody! Cody. Yeah! Yeah! Here we go. Cody, my man! Now, actually, if you find our little test to be too tough, you can make an early withdrawal. You can take the money and run, but before you leave, we have one little rule in this class. You have to look into that camera and say to the planet, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. That's not gonna happen, but okay. We got a deal. We got a deal. All right. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna Let's happen. find out, is Ashley McComb smarter than a fifth grader? Subjects. It's time to pick one, Ashley. I'm gonna go with the uh, first grade grammar. First grade grammar. First grade grammar. All right. Woo. For one thousand dollars, here's the first grade question. What is the only word that is not in the predicate of the following sentence? Nathan threw his grammar book at the wall. What is the only word that is not in the predicate of the following sentence? Nathan threw his grammar book at the wall. Classmate Cody has locked in his answer. How are you feeling about this one, Ashley? Okay, um, I'm thinking that it's a first grade question, so it should be rather obvious. Uh, predicate. I'm thinking maybe it's past tense because everything else in the sentence is not past tense. The only thing is through. It's the only verb that's been, I guess, changed. So I'm guessing that's what predicate is. I mean, it's the first grade question, so it should be obvious, right? Through. Nathan threw his grammar book at the wall. So I'm going to, I want to say through. I don't want to peek because I want to save it, but if I lose on this question, I will look like a fool. Okay, I want to say through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock him through. All right, you said through. I said through. The question, what is the only word that is not in the predicate of the following sentence? Nathan threw his grammar book at the wall. Let's see what the class said. Oh my gosh! Oh! It's a clean sweep of Nathan's. Don't tell me I lost this fast. <laughs> the predicate begins with the verb, which is through. So the only thing that is not in the predicate is the word Nathan. Oh, gosh. So the only way you remain with us, Ashley, is if Cody said Nathan. Oh, dear sweet Cody. For $1,000, Cody said book. Oh, my gosh. I am it's... so sorry. Oh, I feel like an idiot. I hate to tell you this, you are our fastest flunk out ever on the show. It was first grade. <laughs> first grade. Did we have perfect attendance in the uh, first grade? We did have perfect attendance, but I should have stayed longer. After <laughs> school, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Ashley. Jeff Foxworthy. There is one little piece of business we still have to do. I think I know what you're talking about. Ashley, there is the camera. You have a little work to do. My name is Ashley McCone, I'm 23, and I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Worthy, and I want.
want to give away one million dollars tonight if somebody can prove that they are smarter than a fifth grader. Let's meet our class, Cody! Travis, I gotta tell you, the cowboy hat is a first on the show, and winning a million dollars would be a first on the yeah. show. Let's have two firsts tonight, all right? I'm ready. Two firsts. And I'm guessing this is a picture of you at C.J. Harris Elementary, huh? Uh, unfortunately, yeah. That's wow, amazing. look at that. I'm a little cooler now, so. But it's, but it's you're okay. back in school it's now, okay. and now it says uh, you, not only did you graduate from C.J. Harris Elementary. <laughs> You graduated from the University of Texas. Yeah. Book of Boards. Yeah. And you just got your master's. That's right, in public policy. Wow. Wow. Well, welcome back to elementary school. Thank you. You have five new classmates, all fifth graders. What's up? They're gonna be taking the same test you're taking. We're gonna let you cheat off of them, so pick one of them and let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna go with Sierra right here. Sierra, come on up here. Sierra. Will you, will you tell Travis how many times we've given away a million dollars on this show? Never. I want so badly to give away a million dollars. I wanna give away a million dollars. I want you to be the guy. Let me tell you how you're gonna get that million. We're gonna show you a test that has 10 subjects, first grade through the fifth grade. You can pick them in any order you like. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. Your 10th correct answer is worth $500,000. You lasso all 10 of these, we're gonna give you an additional fifth grade question that will be worth one million dollars, all right? If the test proves to be too tough, you can drop out, okay? You can take the money and run. But before you leave, one little stipulation. You have to look in the camera and like everyone before you, say, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. All right. Deal? It's a deal. He's from Texas, I Let's believe. Do it. Let's find out. Is Travis Bouchard smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> Woo! All right, Travis. Let's do it. Ten subjects. Pick your first one. Uh, first grade nature. First grade nature. For $1,000, Travis, here's the question. True or false, pollen is part of a flowering plant's reproductive system. True or false, pollen is part of a flowering plant's reproductive system. Sierra has locked in her answer. All right, well, I know that bees like to fly into flowers collect pollen, fly out to another flower, and I believe that's how they reproduce, by collecting pollen and distributing it. So I'm going to say that that is true. You're going to say true? Do you want to lock that in? I do want to lock that in. All right. <laughs> See how easy this is? You got $1,000, it's that right. easy. Part of the flowering plant's reproductive system. Oh man, you just made a thousand dollars in just a few seconds. Let's double it right now. Okay. For two thousand dollars, pick a subject. Uh. 
I'm gonna go with second grade social studies. Second grade social studies. Travis, the $2,000 question is, a U.S. Supreme Court justice is appointed to serve for how long? Four years, 20 years, lifetime appointment. A U.S. Supreme Court justice is appointed to serve for how long? Four years, 20 years, or lifetime appointment? Sierra's locked in her answer. Let me explain your cheats really quick. You have two of them. You can peek at your classmates' paper, see if you like their answer. You could copy their paper, which means you have to take their answer, and you have one save, which means if you're wrong and they're right, they save you, you get the money, and we keep taking the test. Now, you just got your master's in public policy. I know, I hope to God I get this right. It's kind of a political major, isn't it? A little bit. A little bit. All right, well... That's Texan <laughs> for yes. Well, I've seen some of the Supreme Court justices, and they're pretty old. They've been there for a while, so it's not four years. I'm pretty sure it's not 20 years, so I'm going to say that it, the answer is C. It is a lifetime appointment. Every single fifth grader has the same answer, and every single fifth grader is right. Travis, take a look at the board. Every single fifth grader said... Lifetime appointment! <laughs> Very good, Sierra. All right, these guys can only help you for two questions at a time, so you need to pick another classmate. All right, Travis, see how easy this is? You've got two of them out of the way. Eight subjects left. The next one's worth $5,000. What do you think? Well, I think I'm okay at math, so let's do third grade measurements. Third grade measurements. How do you feel about that, Mackenzie? I feel pretty good. All right. Are you good at measurements? Yeah, pretty good. Now's the time to ask after you've yeah, selected right. it. For $5,000, the third grade measurements question is... Oh, it's a classroom club question. I like classroom club questions. That means this question was submitted to us by a third grader, in this case, Blake from Big Springs Elementary. And because we elected to use Blake's question, are you smarter than a fifth grader is giving his school a computer lab? How about that? All right! All right. Let's see what Blake had for you. What basic metric unit of mass is abbreviated G? What basic metric unit of mass is abbreviated G? Kinsey has locked in her answer. Well, <laughs> the only unit of mass I could think of that starts with G would be gram. And since I can't think of anything else, I'm gonna go with gram. That's my. I thought that was a kind of cracker. <laughs> you think it's a basic metric unit of mass. I'm wrong, you're right, you got $5,000. Yeah! <laughs> Before he picks this time, I'm gonna ask you, out of the remaining seven subjects, which two do you like the best? Um, I would say U.S. Geography and Animal Science or Music. Probably music, yeah. Probably music. Uh, it's in your hands, Travis. Music! Music! I'm not good at geography, so I'm gonna go with Animal Science. Animal Science! 
All right. The $10,000 question is going to be revealed when we come back. Contestant Travis Broussard has got $5,000. We're about to play for 10. I've got a million dollars sitting out in the hallway just waiting on somebody to take it out of here. For $10,000, here's the second grade question. True or false? Only female tortoises can pull their heads into their shells. True or false, only female tortoises can pull their heads into their shells. Mackenzie has locked in her answer. Okay, I, I really have no idea. So I, I'm going to peek. Peek. All right. The question is, true or false, only female tortoises can pull their heads into their shells. Your classmate Mackenzie said, false. How does that feel? Same as before, because I have no idea. So I am going to say the answer is true. She's right. You're wrong. She just saved you. You've got $10,000. Yes! Nice work, Mackenzie. All right. We are down to six subjects, but you just lost your peak and your save on one question. This next question is a very big one because up until this point, if you'd flunked out of school, you would have left us with nothing. You get this one right, you're gonna go home with at least $25,000, okay? Yes. You have three classmates remaining. It's time to pick one of them. Uh, Cody! Cody! How are you today? I'm good. You're good? Yeah. There's six subjects up there. If you had to help Travis with two of them, which ones would you pick? I'd probably pick music or geography. Music or geography. Now, you're scared of geography, right? But it is a first grade question. But it question. is a first grade question. Uh, I'm going to go with Cody and go with first grade U.S. geography. First grade U.S. geography. <laughs> All right, Travis, listen carefully. For $25,000, here's the question. The United States of America is located on what continent? The United States of America is located on what continent? This is the question that you've been avoiding. Cody, of course, has locked in his answer. Well... The United States of America is located on what continent? I think that it's North America. North America. <laughs> of course it is. You got $25,000. Travis. That feels a lot better. <laughs> Doesn't it? Woo. Five subjects remain. Uh. Um, I'm gonna go with fourth grade health. Fourth grade health. The $50,000 question is coming up right after this. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Woo! 
Our contestant, Travis Broussard, has got $25,000. You are playing for $50,000. Let's see what the $50,000 question is. By definition, pulmonary refers to what organ in the human body? By definition, pulmonary refers to what organ in the human body? Cody has locked in. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR. Cardio is the heart, so pulmonary must be the lungs. So my answer is going to be lungs. Lungs. You look like you could use a little CPR right now. <laughs> I could. Sierra has the right answer. You said lungs for $50,000. Sierra said lungs. Woo! Yes. Yes. Awesome. What are you going to do with big money? Oh, man. Uh, my dream is to go over to Tuscany and Italy, buy myself a little villa, grow myself some wine, sit up by the beach. Every cowboy's dream, I guess. <laughs> uh. It sounds good to me. I don't know. All right. There are four subjects between you and the million dollar question. You have two classmates left. You need to pick one of them. <laughs> Olivia, come on up here. All right, Olivia. We're getting up towards the top of the board. Which subjects do you like the best? Uh, definitely music or literature. Are you a music fan? Yeah, I like music. Who doesn't? So uh, let's do third grade, uh, third grade music. Third grade music. And Travis, know this, know this before you hit this buzzer. You can see the question and still drop out of school, okay? Right. The $100,000 question is, what patriotic anthem written by Julia Ward Howe contains the line, his truth is marching on? What patriotic anthem written by Julia Ward Howe contains the line, his truth is marching on? Olivia's locked in. What do you think? God, I'm trying to sing the lyrics in my head and I can't. <laughs> uh, God, it's That's not... a different show. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know it's not the Star Spangled Banner. Uh, All right, well, Olivia, it's up to you. I'm going to copy Olivia's answer. All right. You want to copy Olivia's paper. What patriotic anthem written by Julia Ward Howe contains the line, his truth is marching on. The correct answer is the battle hymn of the Republic. For $100,000, Olivia said, hymn of the Republic, and that is not the full title to the song. Travis, that is so close. That's all right. But you still have $25,000. You've had a lot of fun. Remember what you have to do. There's the camera. All right. My name is Travis Broussard, and even though I have a master's degree, I am still not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll be right back. Smarter than a 
fifth grader. Are you guys ready to meet your new classmate? Yeah! All right. He is a 49-year-old box salesman who attended Mount Washington Elementary in Cincinnati, Ohio. Please welcome Lance Rushy. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you, thank you, man. Good to be here. This is this is you, I guess, when you were attending uh, Mount, what was, Washington. Mount Washington exactly. Elementary. What kind of student were you? You know, I, I wasn't like the smartest student in the class. Neither but was I, Lance. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was a student who worked well with others. All right, well, these are your classmates. They are going to be taking the same yeah! quiz that you're taking. And actually, during the course of the game, we're going to let you cheat off of them, Lance. So pick one of them and let's get started. You know what? Mackenzie, I'm feeling you, Mackenzie is up. I'm feeling you. Let's do it, baby. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah! Hi, Mackenzie. Hey! Let me tell you how this little game works, Lance. On the board, there's going to be 10 subjects. And if at any point yes. this quiz gets to be too tough, right. you can drop out of school. You can take the money that you've earned to that point, and you can run. Yes. But before you leave, you have to promise me one thing. One thing, Jeff. Let's you will it. look into that camera and tell the entire world, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I will do that. I promise. <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, oh my god. Bad. When I get, uh, <laughs> I get nervous, it happens sometimes. So I'll be, this could be happening all night long. Yeah, it's what it's As you're nervous, it's making me nervous, <laughs> Lance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's find out. Is Lance Rushing smarter Woo! than a fifth grader? <laughs> All right, Lance. For $1,000, pick your first subject. I think uh, my first will be first grade animal science. First grade animal science. Are you cool with that? You cool with that here? Mackenzie's cool with that. For $1,000, Lance, here is the question. True or false, a ram is a male sheep. True Ooh. or false, a ram is a male sheep. Mackenzie has locked in her answer. True or false, 50-50 shot at this one, yeah. Lance. What are you thinking? Well, a ram like the ram truck is more manly. So I'm gonna go with that. The ram is a male sheep, and I'm gonna say the answer is true. You wanna lock that in? I'm gonna lock that answer in that it is true. That is true, you got $1,000. <laughs> Don't be getting too jacked up. You. Every one of these guys had it right as well. Really? Okay, they that's did. great. That's good to know. You got 1,000. Let's turn it into 2,000. Pick another 2, subject. You download grammar? I love that. You love grammar. Oh, I love that. Let's go first grade grammar. First grade grammar. All right. For $2,000, may we see first grade grammar? Oh, this uh -oh. is a classroom uh -oh. club question. It comes to us from Reagan from St. Edwards Elementary. Because we selected Reagan's question, her school is getting a computer lab courtesy of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? For $2,000, may we see the question Reagan sent in? How many adjectives are in the following sentence? Sierra runs down the hill. How many adjectives are in the following sentence? Sierra runs down the hill. Mackenzie has locked in her answer. Okay, Sierra runs down the hill. And I know the adjective describes action and uh, okay. Okay, you feeling I, good? I feel good about this one. I would say that the answer is one. 
You want to lock that in? I want to lock it in. The answer is one. All right, Lance. Tell me what you think the adjective is in the sentence. I think that the word runs would be the adjective. Okay. An adjective modifies a noun. The noun in this sentence is Sierra and Hill. I don't see anything that modifies either one of them. Modifying meaning like pretty Sierra or big hill or gotcha. grassy hill. Gotcha. So the answer is zero. Whoa, there is. This question was written by a seven-year-old girl. She got me. Right now, you're depending on a fifth grade girl to save you, or Lance Rushing is running towards the end zone down the hall. <laughs> For $2,000, may we please see what McKenzie said. How many adjectives are in the following sentence? Sierra runs down the hill. McKenzie said zero. You got $2,000. Nice job, McKenzie. You're beautiful. Good job, McKenzie. Good job. All right, your classmates can only help you two questions at a Woo! time. Time to pick another one. Time to pick another one. Let's do another one. Cody, let's go, Cody. Come on, brother. Uh, let's do it, brother. Let's do it, Cody. Cody! How many adjectives did you say, Cody? Zero. 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 <laughs> I got it, too. I love kids. They're beautiful. All right, Lance, I know you brought some people here to root for I you did, today. I you want to introduce them to everybody? I certainly do. I certainly do. My uh, lovely girlfriend, Helena, is sitting over there. The rest of these group of people, I've known them for 20 years. Rob Castle, the whole family. Hey, Rob. Over there. And what does the sign say? Go Rush Dog. Yeah! All right, Rush Dog. Let's, go. Let's do this. Woo! Go ahead and pick a subject. OK, I am going to take third grade math. Third grade math. Lance, for $5,000, the third grade math question is, if Olivia ran 36 miles in four hours, on average, how many miles did she run per hour? Oh, my goodness, man. If Olivia ran 36 miles in four hours, on average, how many miles did she run per hour? Now, you said math was your best subject, and you seem like you're into fitness. I think this would be right up your alley. Cody has locked in his answer. What are you thinking, Lance? Well, I'm going to peek. Am I now, once you peek, you can't in? drop out. You understand? I understand. OK. Lance wants to peek. The question is, if Olivia ran 36 miles in four hours on average, how many miles did she run per hour? Your classmate Cody said nine miles. On average, she ran nine miles per hour. How's that feel? That sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to take Cody's answer. I'm going to tell you, he's right, so you're right. You got $5,000. We'll be playing for $10,000 when we come back. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Lance Rushing, has $5,000. We're about to play for $10,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lance! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, baby? Lance, we have seven more questions on the board. The problem is you have burned two of your three cheats. Man, this is tough. But you got some smart classmates here. They're helping you out. Correct. Let's pick another subject. Let's, 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 let's win 10,000. Let's win 10,000. How about? We have Earth Science. Second grade Earth Science is my choice. Second grade Earth Science. Lance, 
For $10,000, here is the question. True or false, there are no glaciers in Africa. True or false, there are no glaciers in Africa. Your classmate Cody has locked in his answer. Hmm, there are no... What you thinking, Lance? Well, I'm thinking Africa is just very hot, very hot place. People don't wear shoes, they hardly wear clothing over there. It's just hot, you know? I think you're thinking of Mardi Gras. You think that's uh, a... Yeah. <laughs> Glaciers are, are made of, they're cold, and they got ice and snow, and they're packed. But you just got to imagine somewhere in Africa, there's got to be a glacier over there. Huh? Hiding behind an elephant there. somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. There's got to be a glacier in Africa. I, I'm going to have to say that, that there are no glaciers in Africa. I'm going to say that that is false. I will tell you this, the rest of the class has the right answer. May we please see the pecs are dancing, Lance. <laughs> May we please see for $10,000 whether you're going home with nothing or we continue with the game. The class said, folks, you got $10,000. You're playing for 25,000. This is a big yeah. question. <laughs> this is a big question, Lance. Because up until this point, had you answered incorrectly and your classmate didn't save you, you would have gone home with nothing. You yeah. get this one right, the worst thing that can happen is you're leaving with at least $25,000. All right, Lance, pick a subject. Sierra, what are you feeling? Music. What's that? Music. Music? Yeah. OK, OK. My partner said music. I think I'm going to take second grade music. Second grade music. All right, for $25,000, here is your second grade question. How many strings are on a standard viola? How many strings are on a standard viola? Sierra has locked in her answer. Okay. Not your revolutionary viola, your no, standard viola. Standard viola. You have your deluxe one. And, right. Uh, so we're talking standard. Yes. So how many strings is a viola? You know what? I'm not really sure. Do you know what a viola looks like? It kind of doesn't sit down there, and you kind of hit it this way with the strings. I have well, no you idea, it Lance. You hit it. It's like a guitar. The only kind thing of I could play a... was a radio. Uh, right. No, oh, a viola. All right, here's your options. You can drop out of school. You got ten thousand dollars. Right. Because if you answer incorrectly, you leave with nothing. Got it. You could copy this pretty little lady's paper. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you know what? I came here to win more than ten thousand dollars, and. Uh, I'm going to have to copy from my fifth grader, Sierra. All right. We actually have a picture of a viola. When it comes up, let's count the strings together, Lance. Let's. There it is. One, two, three, four. If this girl said four, you have $25,000. If she said any other number, you're going home with 
Zero. Gotcha. Take a look at the board. How many strings are on a standard viola? For $25,000, Sierra said... Four! Now, Lance, yes. you understand, you're not a millionaire yet. That's it. Just 25,000. Here's... Here's the bad news, Lance. You've used your copy, your peek, and your save. Your right. classmates can no longer help you. Correct. It's just you. It's me. Five questions Five left questions. on the quiz. Got it. The next question is worth fifty thousand dollars. To right. me, it's the freebie because even if you miss it, you will leave with twenty-five thousand. There's 000. no reason not to try to answer this oh, question. Oh, there's no reason. I got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. Fourth grade anatomy. Fourth grade anatomy. All right, Lance. Yes. Your fifty thousand dollar question is. The lumbar section of a typical human spine contains how many vertebrae? Five, 15, or 30? Oh, you are, you're kidding me. Five, 15. The lumbar section of a typical human spine contains yes. how many vertebrae? Five, 15, or 30? I am going to choose Now, do you, do, you, do you have any idea about the subject matter here? The vertebrae, you? yes. It's, you're talking about, like, the, the spine? Because I'm thinking you work out. You, Correct. The dancing pegs kind of was a tip-off for yeah. me that you work out. I worked out a little bit. Now I'm getting nervous again. <laughs> yeah, so I am going to choose... Right. I'm going to choose... B, 15. The answer is B, 15. The question, the lumbar section of a typical human spine contains how many vertebrae? You said 15. The correct answer, is going to be revealed when we come back. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Lance Rushing, has $25,000. For your $50,000 question, Woo! you selected fourth grade anatomy. The question was, the lumbar section of a typical human spine contains how many vertebrae? Five, 15, or 30? You chose B, which is 15. For $50,000, I will tell you this, Nathan has the right answer. You said 15. May we please see what Nathan said? Nathan said five. That is the right answer, Lance. However, you've got $25,000. I'm very happy about that. That's a good day. That's a good day. Now, remember, you and I had a little deal. Yeah, we did. No, no, you're right. You're right. There's the camera. Let them hear it, Lance. I am Lance Rushing, and though I'm an extremely good corrugated box salesman, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> But you got $25,000. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.